Welcome back to Out of the Shelf Gaming. How's it going, guys? It's now we're nice here. to see you all again. Yeah, I hope the weather was nice today. Yeah, and if it wasn't, fuck the weather. Yeah. I hate nature, and I'm glad that we're destroying the planet. Sh sh sure. I, Eric, I don't think I don't think Wind Waker liked you saying that. Now it's getting all disgusting looking. Hmm. Well, luckily we... Shit, never mind. It's gonna say, luckily we have an umbrella to stand under, but somebody had to leave. This guy's on our private island. Yeah, he's just, like, looking out. You know. A flying seagull. More seagulls. So many seagulls. Who cares? Do I have to... Show him the chart? Or the deed, or whatever it was that yeah. we got? Yeah. Probably? I sure do. <laughs> Even though he's a door. Yeah. He's a door man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? That? That's... Why, that's the... Are you... Are you the new master? Are you Master Squig? That's right. Ah, I am so pleased to hear that name, Master Squig. Please be gentle on this fine door. Oh, God. And we have to hold hands with them to come inside. Yeah. All right, buddy. Are you ready for objectively my least favorite part of Wind Waker? Oh, jeez. It's going to be annoying, isn't it? You know it. So you see you see that puzzle? Yeah, we got to turn that one behind it into the yeah, same thing. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we fucking do. Thank God, I'd hate for things to just be easy. I mean, granted, this would be way too easy. You know what the funniest part about that is? Uh -huh. I lied. What? It's, what does that get? Uh, it's it's a bonus mini game for I think you play it for for rupees. Oh. Uh, and I think the final one nets you uh, a heart piece. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's good that it's not. Uh, that it's not, like, the thing for this. Yeah. Because that'd be a nightmare. Don't get me wrong, like, some of those are hard, and some of them aren't, and some of them feel hard, even though really they probably shouldn't have been, and I overcomplicated things. Yeah. But, uh, the, the one, the one puzzle, and, and I've done it, actually, I, when we played it, uh, on the show, that we didn't play it on the show, because, uh, you know, brand new channel and everything. Yeah. Uh, but if we had played it on the show, the one uh, Zelda puzzle that I actually legitimately think is just, like, practically impossible is in Twilight Princess when you're going to the Temple of Time mm -hmm. and you have to move the two statues around. Yes. And line them up. And when we recorded that, I fucking busted that out in, like, 30 seconds completely by accident. And I could never do that again. Never. I mean, unless I got super lucky a second time, which I guess is possible. <laughs> yeah, nothing's impossible. But I think we're going the wrong way, bro. Yeah, we are. I just wanted to make sure, you know, I'm trying to figure out the, the layout of my new sewer. Kill these fucking rats. Hell yeah, this is the way! Or did we already go this way? We did not. Okay. This is just another... Ah. Uh, man, I could never be... Well, I guess he's not the hero of time. He's the hero of winds. I could never be the hero of winds because I would never be crawling around in these spaces. <laughs> I mean, Ocarina of Time Link crawled around in some horrible, disgusting places. Oh, yeah. Well, I couldn't be him either, but I, I was just going to call him the hero of time, but that's not who he is. Gotcha. Um, Cause yeah, you, you would not even as a little kid would you have caught me crawling around in something like this. Yeah, th this is like, uh, well, because what the game doesn't show you is like all the cobwebs and rat shit. And yeah. Well, and even subtracting that, even if even if this was like a super nice, clean place, it's just like it's a tiny hole. Yeah. And I just really don't want to be in there. Fair. Also, crawling is hard. Yeah, true that. Like, let alone inside of a tiny claustrophobic ass, like, tunnel. Well, especially this kind of crawling. 
Is that where we came from? Uh, no, no. New place, okay. Hell yeah, too easy. Let's pop open some more doors. Surely the Triforce is anywhere, somewhere. Okay, so no, this is our way back again. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was going to be That's the other direction, as always. That, okay. And then I hop down Jump here. down this hole. And there's the corpse of a lover or two that, that uh, Madam Butterfly conveniently <laughs> left laying around. Yeah. Because, like, what is the what is the explanation for why you have two living corpses in your basement? You're a necromancer? Yeah, I, I think we need to go back to, to Windfall <laughs> and maybe uh, <laughs> alert the police or something. Hey, she doesn't question what you do on your free time. Yeah, it's just how long before one of the killer bees goes missing and becomes a, a re-dead. I don't know. How long until they're grown? Who knows? Well, considering that it's been like 20 years since the game launched, probably a little bit still. Hooray! We found it! The final piece! Yeah, except for that last piece that we need. <laughs> You know, you're really always going to be such a downer, Crandon. Yep. Trying to have a good time, trying to have fun over here. Listen, and I... be excited about stuff, and you're just like, I don't know, there's still another piece left. And you know, I know that there's another piece left, I just don't... I don't want there to have been another piece left, I want it to be ready now. Trust me, I too want Dorito Quest to be over. <laughs> but you yeah. know what, we still have to find another piece of nacho cheese... Dorito. Yeah. Man, I have Doritos sitting on this table right now. Do you? Yeah. Yummy. They're not uh, nacho cheese, though. They're uh, spicy, sweet, sweet chili. Oh, that is a second favorite of mine. Have you tried the the tangy barbecue ones yet? Uh, are they in a black bag? Yes. Yes. I fucking love those. They were pretty good. Like, like most Doritos... When you get a bag that doesn't have enough flavoring on them, they are some of the worst chips I've ever had. Oh, but, absolutely. But if so long as they've got enough of that powder on them. Fucking great. Uh, no, for sure. I, I've had a couple of bags of those. They were right. I don't I don't think they're like necessarily better than other barbecue chips, but I really like barbecue chips anyway. So they're still like super good. My favorite is still uh the Buffalo Whatever. Uh, oh, Buffalo Ranch, whatever it's called. Yes. Doritos. Those are amazing. And they've been my favorite forever. They used to come in the light blue bag. Yeah. And now they come in like a darker blue bag. But I haven't seen them in like a thousand years. So I don't know. Maybe they got discontinued again. That would be about my luck. I'm I'm really sad because my favorite Dorito flavor, uh, I don't think they've made in the United States in like, I don't know, 20 years at this point. Brutal. Uh, they are the guacamole flavor. Mm-hmm. The the chips were this bright green. <laughs> oh, they were they were delicious. Is it the Triforce? No. Uh, unfortunately, now we have to find the ghost ship. Oh. Uh, and the problem with that is, I think it's tied to the to the moon. The ghost ship is tied to the moon. Yeah, I think it's tied to one of the faces of the moon. Oh, well, that could be ridiculously inconvenient. Yeah. Uh, so let's check and see real quick. Hell before yeah. Before we start wandering at random. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of AFK here. Hell yeah. The ghost ship is a mysterious, intangible ship that sails around the great sea. Only appears at night on different islands with every phase of the moon. Uh huh. Yeah, so. Ah, do we have the ghost ship chart? We sure don't. Okay, well, we need the ghost ship chart. Well. From Dylan Steep Island, an island in Sector A6. Okay. Where are we? Are? We're in one, two, three, four, five. Ah, and then four, it tells you five, where the ship is. Six. So, okay. Okay, so 
Queso. I could go for some queso. Hell yeah, bro. I love cheese. Ah, I like it. I, when I go to places that serve queso, I usually only eat salsa. Just because I like salsa a lot more. I typically only eat salsa when I go to those places because the queso costs extra and I'm cheap. True. There's nothing quite like getting free salsa and then being like, yeah, can I have queso? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you want a, a small or a large? I'll just take a small. Great. That'll be four fifty. Yeah. And then it's like half the size of your free salsa. Oh, bro. We got to, at some point... Uh, meet up at a place in uh, Redacted uh, yeah. where I live to go to a Mexican restaurant there because god they have some A they've got really good food but B they've also got uh, they have some good ass salsa hell yeah bro I'm <gasps> fucking in holy shit there's the ghost ship <laughs> well we can't get on it because we don't have the chart son of a bitch but it's it's, oh, you mother <laughs> fucker. Yeah, well, one of the things it says that I didn't read is, uh, I was skipping through, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, because I think we actually saw it at some point during this playthrough. I don't know if it was on, uh, during an episode or if it was between episodes. Oh. But he just, if you sail up to it when you don't have the chart, you just sail directly through it. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of thought that, like, once we got the Triforce quest, that would be the thing that made that stop happening. But no, apparently you have to have the sea chart. Yeah, I, I, I had some vague memory. I was like, something tells me that I, that I need the stupid fucking chart. Otherwise, I'll be fucked. But I, I thought the King of the Red Lions was supposed to be like, Squig, you need the ghost ship chart. But no, he didn't. He 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 said fuck all. <laughs> Maybe about he said it. it while we weren't paying attention. No, impossible. <laughs> We've never not paid attention. Yeah, not even for a little bit. Not even that one time. Not even for two times. Not even for right now, where I'm scrolling Twitter.com. Man, speaking of Twitter.com... Yeah, tell him, buddy. Our bestest buddy, Sacred Face VA, has been banned unrightfully from Twitter. And I'm angry about it. Me too. I have been on Twitter strike where I've done everything exactly the same as I always do, except for I tweet at X every day. <laughs> yeah. Bring back Sacred. Hashtag bring back sacred. And uh, it's not working. And actually, he just today, um, he got he got his appeal back uh, a couple days ago or something where they rejected his claim to come back. Uh, and then he got his final appeal uh, today saying he can't appeal anymore and that they're not going to bring him back. Oh. Uh, so presumably he will never, ever come back to Twitter. So uh, which might be for the best. Because, like, I don't know that... Twitter's really kind of unhealthy to use, and part of me's like, man, maybe I should also get off of Twitter. Yeah. Because I deleted it at one point, and it actually legitimately kind of improved my life, but also I didn't see any funny memes on Twitter anymore. Yeah. And I didn't have anything to send to Sacred for us to talk about. So, you know, there, there's there's pluses and minuses. But, uh... But, yeah, so, as of right now, I've still been putting his, uh... The link to his Twitter in the episode of On the Shelf Gaming that he's in. <laughs> Yeah. But I guess I'll stop that. Have we been here already? No, we've been to uh, the other place that looks exactly like this, <laughs> which is supposed to 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 be like a primer for this. Mm. Uh, so why why did he get uh, a band? We don't know. Oh. Yeah, the, the message that they sent says that he's banned. It does not say why he's banned. Oh. So I have no idea. And that's the thing. like, Because that, that was one of the things he put in his appeal. Because, of course, it's like, why do you think your ban was unjust? And it's like, well, because I don't even know why it is. Because, like, don't get me wrong. I guarantee you that he has said something on Twitter that he's not allowed to. Not something horrible, awful. Yeah. He's not going around telling people to fucking die or anything. Um, 
But like, if they looked at, at synchronized Twitter DMs, then yeah, they'd be like, oh, both of these guys should probably be banned. They're like fucking horrible to each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he make any <laughs> tweets recently saying that Elon Musk is a dirty, dirty fuck all? Uh, no, he basically doesn't tweet at all anymore. Oh. He he tweets very occasionally, or he did. Um, like he he specifically stopped doing basically any tweets other than just like retweeting stuff that we've done. Yeah. Um, for the show, because it's like one or two things happens when you tweet. Uh, either nothing happens, nobody looks at it, um, except for maybe like in our case, like maybe I would look at it and say something or something like that. Right. In which case, you basically just throw it out into the void, uh, which is fine, but it doesn't, like, do anything, um, per se. Or people who aren't, like, your me close, immediate friends see it. And sometimes good stuff happens when only a few people see it. But God forbid if you tweet anything and a bunch of people see it. Because there's going to be a bunch of people. It doesn't matter what you say. You, your tweet can be like, man, I love dogs. And I'll be like, uh, actually, dogs killed my whole family? The yeah. fuck? How dare you? See, I get the opposite of that. When when one of my tweets is seen by a bunch of people, it's mostly just that I either get a bunch of likes, or I get a random comment, or I get followed by uh, a porn bot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that stuff definitely happens, too. But it's like, and I, don't, I don't know who this person is. Someone who follows me, I guess. Uh, I think, but I don't remember. Uh, but a while back, I finished a game that is old and of questionable quality. Uh, and my tweet was that, you know, I, I mostly liked it, but it's definitely old and it's not like exceptionally good. Right. And the person's response was just, no, it is good, actually. You know, I, I think I vaguely remember you yeah, telling me about that. Probably. I probably complained about it multiple times. Not because it's so horrible or anything. Like, I'm sure this person didn't mean anything by it. But Other still. than just, like, they don't agree and they, they didn't want it to be, like... I don't know. It's one of those things. Like, you see something you don't agree with, and especially because I said it, obviously that's just my opinion that the game is not that great. Right. Uh, I don't think that's, like an objective fact. Um, but I don't preface my opinions by saying, now this is just my opinion, because it's fucking stupid and a waste of time. Yeah. Like, if something is obviously an opinion, and you assume, even if that person does, if someone tweets out their opinion and they think that their opinion is fact, there's still no reason to respond to it. Because it's not like you're going to convince them otherwise. Absolutely. So... I don't know. Sometimes you just have to not engage in conversations, even if the initial thing really fucking annoys you. <laughs> Fair. But, uh... But yeah, so it's like stuff like that. And I'm like, man... Why do I even use Twitter? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel that. Alright, we got the ghost ship chart. Hooray! If only the ghost ship was still right there. Right. All right. It's cool. nighttime. Uh, it's in the half moon phase. Uh, it's at the Squiggle Island. <gasps> oh, that, I know where that is. Let's say is that close to us? Uh, uh, no, but it is. Uh, specifically. Uh, nope. Uh, it is specifically one of the places that I marked because the little fish guy was like. Yeah, something weird happens here on Half Moon Nights. Ah, hell yeah. Okay, so... Are we there? I don't see it. You will. <laughs> oh, you will. <laughs> well, good. I'm ready. Me too. There he is. <gasps> it's the ghost ship. The ghost ship. I'm gonna go talk 
to Davy Jones. Well, that doesn't sound like a very good idea at all. Yeah, but we'll do that next time.